running air hammers, air sander, or other high CFM air tools? Probably not. This CAT 8010 is designed for handling light to medium jobs. We tested this 110V super quiet air compressor in our garage to see how it performed to handle nailing and inflating tasks. Setup, the air filter and wheels need to assemble before use. The California Air Tools 8010 is completely factory assembled. You don't have to perform any most challenging assembling process. The air intake filter and two wheels come separately. An instruction guide is also included with this package, the instructions easy to follow. You need only 10 to 20 minutes to install with the unit. I used an adjustable wrench and a Phillips screwdriver to install wheels. Tighten the nut until the lock washer is flat. The air filter is made with heavy duty plastic. I use my hand to tighten the air filter, and it's a straightforward process. Keep spinning the filter clockwise until you get proper tight. The California Air Tools 8010 is an ultra-quiet air compressor, you can expect an outstanding performance from it while it's small to medium jobs. It delivers a max of 120 psi, pound per square inch. The air displacement rate is 2.20 CFM at 90 PSI and 3.10 CFM at 40. This air delivering range makes perfect for keeping you up for light to medium jobs. We use this California Air Tools 8010 to blow up my car tires, firing some nails into wood, upholstery tasks using a heavy-duty staple gun, blowing off the dust of tools, and framing jobs. Even it doesn't disappoint me when I fire framing nails using a framing gun. A 120V dual piston compressor motor supplies the juice. It takes 2 minutes 41 seconds to raise tank pressure from 0 to 120 psi. The recovery time is not so long if we compare it with other competitors. And tank size is 8 gallons and is made with steel, better than aluminum materials. We used an 18-gauge Makita Brad Nailer and get 22 shots keeping before the motor kicks on. And the pressure setting was 90 PSI. Even we used pneumatic cutoff tools to see its maximum performance. Surprisingly, it cuts 12% of 12mm steel rod. But the motor didn't keep me up with that high air-consuming air tools. It didn't make me upset.